Some people enjoy true simplicity in their treadmills and some people want it all. We're talking about dozens of features, the latest technology and a price tag obviously to match it as well. And we've got one such machine here today with the Nordic Track X32i Behemoth treadmill. So just behind me is the X32i. This is a commercial grade treadmill. We just got it here and we want to walk you through the unboxing and the setup and then talk about some of the reasons why this might be the treadmill for you and also some reasons why this might not be the treadmill for you. So if you're looking for some good back and forth, this is probably the video that you're looking for. Before we get too far into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. If you've seen some of our content already and have not subscribed, we want you to join our community. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get back to the video. Now, when we get started, before we talk about the features, I wanna talk about how this thing comes. When I say that this is giant, I am not kidding. You see, we received it on a huge pallet. It weighs somewhere around 500 pounds and the box is so big it didn't even fit through the front door of the house. Yes, we had to unpack this in the driveway in the Canadian winter just to get it in the house, brought it in piece by piece and it required three of us, two strong helpers and me an old man with a bad back. Now if this is used at a commercial space, obviously you're gonna have a loading dock so you could probably just roll it in with a, a pallet jack or something right to the space we need to set up. But if you're using it for home use, such as we are here in our dining room, which has been repurposed to be our workout space, then uh, you're probably not gonna get it through the door and you're probably gonna be like me. Uh, most delivery is gonna be curbside delivery anyway. They're not gonna bring it in the house for you, even if you pay them extra. The man that brought this to me was older than I am and he worked that pallet jack very well, but there was no way he was bringing it through the front door either. So it is one thing to consider. It's giant, the packaging is giant, and it is heavy. But once we got it inside, it was time to set it up. So I'm gonna walk you through the time lapse here of the setup. Setup itself was actually pretty easy. The one thing to note is the giant TV section it has a 32 inch monitor. It does come mostly pre-assembled. It's very heavy by itself and very awkward. You will need two people to help you with this. In this case, uh, I had my son help me. He held it in place. It's held on with some screws. It is very easy to actually assemble because it just bolts onto the base once you have the base in position. You can see from me installing it, I actually had the base the wrong way around. So I had to flip that around. You can see me struggling there, trying to get it flipped around just because it's so heavy and I was all by myself. But once you've got that on, the rest follows pretty easily. I threw on my favorite workout music and just blasted through the set. Once you've got it all set up, there's a few things that you're going to notice. First of all, it's truly huge. And that's probably one of the reasons why you bought it. It features a 22 inch wide by 65 inch long deck, which is massive. It does up to a 40 degree incline, which I'm just gonna enable that while I'm going here. In fact, I'm gonna jump on this so you can watch it while we go. So when you think that that incline is probably far enough, you can see it keeps going. It's going so far that I'm starting to slide away from this thing here. I'm gonna just hold myself so I don't fall off. And there we go, that is a 40 degree incline. So you can see this incline is huge. The bars up here are plenty big enough. It's very stable. It's got sled mode, which allows you to really push through and get like this major, major burn and exercise, which isn't my cup of tea. But if it's your cup of tea, this thing will do it. The one thing that it's not gonna do is fold up. So most treadmills, the cheaper ones or the lower end ones that don't have as many features as this, well that just lifts right up out of the way. But on this guy, it takes this space all the time, every time, whether it's in use or not. And that's something to consider 
when you're looking at this thing. A few other things to consider, the 4.25 horsepower motor, which is very durable, very robust, and because this is commercial grade, it should last for a long time for regular home use because it can also last in a gym setting where multiple people are beating on this thing all of the time. Now, when my wife bought this, this is hers obviously, she said I'm not allowed to use it. And I can't imagine why, because a small search on the internet revealed a ton of great ideas of things that you can do with the treadmill if you're not into using it in standard traditional format. Now, this should hold up to all of those activities if you get bored of your regular activities. But bored you are likely not to be. It kind of is weird, but you're not going to be bored is what I'm trying to say. So this has a 32 inch touchscreen tablet running the latest iFit software. One thing we wanted to know is can you install the Peloton app on the X32i? The answer is yes. We are not going to show you how to do it in this video, but it can be done. That also goes the same for Netflix and any other app that you might want to install on your Nordic Trek X32i. So long story short, you have a lot of options for how to use this if you start to get bored of the iFit membership. I do show you how to unlock this in a different video. This video is not about how to unlock your iFit enabled device, but we will show you in future videos, which you can check out on this channel. Now we already talked about the massive 32 inch touchscreen, and it is massive, especially when we compare it to the tiny, tiny little screen on our S22i. The screen on this one is huge. It does swivel. Uh, it doesn't swivel down much, but it does swivel up, so you can easily adjust it depending on where you are with your incline on this machine. And one thing you're gonna appreciate is how sturdy it is. It is very, very sturdy. Now I can jump on this thing and kind of rock around. You can see like, I mean, of course you can wiggle it and stuff, but it's very, very sturdy. And then this guy, you know, obviously I don't use a treadmill. You can tell by looking at me, but this is for my wife and we wanted something sturdy and it would last a long time for her. You may have noticed while I was doing my little dance on there that the belt is also very well cushioned. So it does have enough give that you're not gonna blow your knees out running on this thing. It offers a little bit of cushioning so that you're not hurting yourself and you're not damaging the equipment. Now, what are some of the cons? Well, first of all, obviously the price. This thing is expensive at around 4,000 US dollars. If that doesn't uh, turn you away, I will put links in the description where you can purchase one yourself. Many of them will come with a free mirror, just like we have over here, the Nordic Track mirror. This is the Proform mirror. It's got a little camera in there and it lets you watch yourself and it plays you yourself back while you're uh, doing your workouts. I'm not gonna use that either, but my wife was really excited about it. Sometimes they do a bundle package. And in our case, we also got one year of free iFit membership, which is great because we're about to renew our membership anyway. So we don't have to pay for one year. That's like a $500 savings. So you can easily justify the huge steep price based on all the extras that you're getting if it's something that you find value in. Besides the price though, one of the other downsides is the huge step up onto this thing. So you can see from back here to get on this thing, this is a really massive step. And then you're quite high, like this ceiling, this is an eight foot ceiling right here. Now I can touch the ceiling. When we're in full incline mode, I'm actually quite close to the ceiling. I'm not so close that I'm worried about hitting anything, but I am really high up. One of the side benefits of that is that I can actually change the lights if they ever burn out in here without having to bring a ladder. I can just set the incline and change that light. One of the other downsides is it's a little bit petty, but the weight of this thing, it's almost 500 pounds and even assembled, it is still almost 500 pounds. If you were trying to move this around, it almost certainly requires two people. You probably are gonna need to disassemble. You're not gonna be able to flip this up to get it out the door. It's gonna have to come apart into the pieces that it was in when you brought it in in the first place. It does disassemble quite easily. There's only a few screws to undo. In fact, once you have this secondary bar in, I can easily detach these two bars and take that away without having to completely disassemble this. So it's just the bars, the center piece with the screen, and then the base. So you're gonna take it down into three pieces. Now, when we were setting this up, I told my son, don't let us ever talk about moving because I'm not moving this with me. If we decide to sell the house, this will come with the house. It's gonna be baked into the sale and the buyer will not have a choice. They're getting a treadmill. Now this is obviously an impressive piece of equipment, but it's not for everybody. So who is it for? 
somebody with a large home gym or someone crazy like me who's willing to turn their dining room into a home gym. Now we've packed it in quite tight here, but there is enough space for this and our bike and still some room for some floor work there, but you guys can't see it. My living room is just on the other side of this and I'm staring at exercise equipment all day. Maybe one day that will make me actually start to use the exercise equipment rather than just tell you guys about it, but not today. Technology enthusiasts. I'm a tech guy, I love tech, and as soon as we got this here, the first thing I did was set it up and turned it on, and within minutes of turning it on, the first thing I did was check if I could get into privileged mode and started installing all of the apps that I wanted on it right away. So if you're a tech guy and you like tinkering with tech in between your favorite run set, this is probably the piece of equipment for you. It doesn't get much better than this. And serious runners. Those of you who want the most versatile options with equipment that will handle the most heavy demands of a serious runner, someone who's gonna use it a lot and use it frequently and push it to the limit, this piece of equipment is actually built to stand up to that. This is not made for the guy who's gonna set it up and look at it and just start hanging their clothes off of it. This is made for the person who wants to use it. If you know that you are serious about your exercise and about running, this is probably one of the ones that you're gonna consider. So who isn't this for? This is not for the budget conscious consumer. Obviously, you're probably not even looking at this because the price tag is so huge and there are tons of options out there that are way, way, way cheaper than this. Marketplace is a great place to buy exercise equipment that individuals had really, really big dreams. Uh, usually, you know, January, February, people buy stuff like this and by June, they're selling it because they haven't used it anyway and they want it out of their house. It's usually at a huge discount. You can get some great deals in the secondhand market, but also brand new. You can buy reasonably okay equipment, especially if you're not quite sure if you're serious about working out with equipment such as this, you can get it for a third, a quarter, half the price, it easily. This is not the budget option and I wanna be very clear about that. Someone with a small space, because this doesn't fold up, it's always out, it's always in full ready to go mode. If you need the ability to fold it up so that you can just do your daily life when you're not doing your workout, then this obviously is not the machine for you. It's big, it's always big. And anyone who has balance issues. Now this might not be immediately obvious, but because the step up onto this thing is so big, and you don't have a lot of support back here. So if you can't stand up here without losing your balance and falling over, it's probably not for you. You could come from the side and hang on to this, but once you're up, because of the width, these are quite wide. So if you've got balance issues, it's a long way to go to, to grab and hang on. Uh, I'm not too worried about it for me, but definitely if you're somebody who is, you know, just getting into running and you're just trying to kind of figure your space out and you maybe don't have the best balance, it's okay. We don't all have good balance, but this might not be the machine that you're looking for. Now, some of the other things that you're gonna be wondering about, it's got the quick select buttons on the side, which are very handy. The machine tops out at about 12 miles per hour of speed. So if you're one of those extreme treadmill runners, this isn't the one that you're looking for. It has a user weight capacity of around 300 pounds. If you're heavier than 300 pounds, again, this is not the machine you're looking for. But one thing that I'm most excited about on this machine is, if you're familiar with iFit, you know that they have the follow me uh, runs and rides and rows and whatever. And on this guy, with the 40 degree incline and up to six degree decline, they have a complete Mount Everest climb. You can load up the Mount Everest climb and in your favorite running shoes and sweatshirt, you can jump on here and do a simulated Mount Everest climb. This is awesome for someone like myself because I actually want to climb Mount Everest. I have a couple problems preventing me from that. Number one, money. I don't have enough. Number two, time. I also don't have enough. And number three, asthma. I have lots of asthma. And as you know, asthma and cold don't go well together. So if I were to actually try to do real life Mount Everest, I would probably be one of those guys that you see in a snowsuit curled up about to die on the side of the pathway 
that nobody can help. But that's not so with a machine like this. I can now do a Mount Everest climb, which I intend to do. I'm not gonna do it today, and maybe I'll live stream it. So you guys can join me for the walk and we'll see how that goes. That might be kind of exciting. If you think that would be fun to watch, go ahead and post a comment down below and say, Anton, let me know when your live stream of Mount Everest climb is because I'd love to tune in. Maybe we'll do a group climb. You guys can buy one of these, we'll do it together. I hope that helped you out today. Don't forget to post comments down below, any questions you guys have, any comments, any concerns, because we've got this machine here. I'm certainly not gonna use it for what it's intended for, but I'd love to tell you guys about it. If you have questions about any of the features here, let me know what they are. I can answer those comments in the comment section, or if it warrants a whole new video, I'll make another video because every minute I spend talking to you guys is one more minute that I don't have to use any of this equipment. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video. and We'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.